Item number SCP-6499 Security Level 2 Containment Class Safe Disruption Class Dark Risk Class Notice Special Containment Procedures SCP-6499 is to be kept in a standard anonymous item locker at Site-196. When not directly viewed, the object is inactive and no further procedures are required. Description SCP-6499 is a hardcover book, 252 pages long. The front cover and spine are black, but the first page of the book features the title Chapters on Cognitive Behavioral Therapy with no extra information regarding the author, publisher, or year added. The book contains multiple chapters on psychological theory and practices ranging from meditation exercises to U.S. Navy SEALs techniques on keeping calm during a battle. SCP-6499 was discovered at the remains of a burned building in Beep. The object came to the Foundation's attention when field agents came across reports of a woman miraculously surviving a house fire completely unharmed. SCP-6499 was found intact at the site. Warning! Security in Sector 2 has been compromised. Personnel not assigned critical tasks are to immediately seek shelter in the designated safe rooms. SCP-6499 appears to be non-anomalous the vast majority of the time. SCP-6499 starts to manifest its anomalous properties when three criteria are met. An individual must be in the same room as SCP-6499, must be within line of sight of the object. A crisis situation in which the above-mentioned individual is in a life-threatening situation due to the hazardous environment or impending disaster. Subject must be in a state of high emotional distress. Warning! SCP Beep and SCP Beep have breached containment. Code 196A Red. When all criteria are met, SCP-6499 will render both itself and the subject immune to all forms of conventional and unconventional injury or harm. From this point on, the subject should be referred to as SCP-6499-1. A secondary anomalous effect Triggered during a crisis causes SCP-6499-1 to become completely apathetic to the surroundings and imminent danger. The subject instead displays mild boredom and will resume the task instead of trying to reach safety. SCP-6499 will cease its effects once both itself and SCP-6499-1 are no longer in immediate danger. Third, an amnestic effect will trigger, erasing all memories of the crisis situation from SCP-6499-1, causing mild confusion when questioned. Warning! The site is experiencing multiple Kettle and Euclid class containment breaches. Full site 196 lockdown initiated. Addendum SCP-6499 Test Summary Forward Researchers are not to abort tests, even when subject appears to be harmed. SCP-6499's anomalous effects only appear when subject is in actual danger. The Ethics Committee has provided approval for this protocol. 6th of July, 2021. Test 3. Incineration. D-Class was instructed to enter a standard incineration chamber in which SCP-6499 was placed beforehand. Result, D-Class experienced high emotional stress levels when gas filled the room. Emotional distress disappeared one second later. The subject looked briefly at the flames before sitting down on the floor with a sigh and started peeling his nails. When researcher Dr. L. Glossglow asked how the D-Class felt during the incineration, he replied, it's okay. D-Class left the room without sustaining any damage to himself and his clothes. 
12th of July, Test 5, Suffocation by Submission. SCP-6499 was given to D-Class to read in his cell. Fifteen minutes later, his cell was flooded with water. Result, after an initial display of horror at the rising water level, the subject sat down on the bed and continued reading while the water rose to his nose. D-Class left the room with his clothes dry. 25th of July, 2021 Test 9 Anomalous Aggressors D-Class was instructed to enter SCP Beep's containment chamber where SCP-6499 had been left earlier that day. Result After a short amount of shock upon seeing SCP Beep, the D-Class sat down in the middle of the room. The D-Class picked up the coloring book reserved for SCP Beep and started to draw with the crayons. SCP Beep's threats were ignored. SCP Beep began attacking the subject to no effect. Warning! SCP Beep, SCP Beep, and various other memetic and contagious anomalies have reached the lockdown. Final rest protocol has been initiated. Addendum 2 SCP-6499 While preparing another test with SCP-6499, a sudden crisis situation emerged and SCP-6499's effects were accidentally triggered. Dr. L. Grossglow was caught in this effect as her colleagues left to counter the threat or seek shelter. Even though she was instructed to seek shelter as well, the subject prioritized acquiring coffee and finalizing the documentation she had been assigned. The subject didn't notice the guttural noises made when MTF-16-2 class clowns shot down infected D-class but ignored it. When instructed to stop, the subject continued to head for the coffee machine, finishing the document on a mobile phone. The subject felt no discomfort from the fire caused by SCP Beep or the mannequins that tried to strangle her. Warning! The Site-196 nuclear device had been triggered. Countdown initiated. 10, 9, 8. The subject feels no discomfort as the nuclear device underneath her workplace was triggered and instead enjoyed a sip of good coffee of saving the final edits she made on the file. 4, 3, Two, one.